Hey everybody, I've got the long-delayed Mission 70 of Battlebox right here, and I think it's going to be a pretty good one, so we're going to check it out right now on Kitbashed Survival. So yeah, Mission 70 was delayed by about a month. It was supposed to ship in early December, but instead it arrived in early January. And the reason for that was that the knife that they wanted to have in Mission 70 was stuck in transit and they didn't have it in time. It was over in Asia somewhere and it took several weeks to finally make it here so they could put it in the box. Now, they notified all the subscribers and they gave us an option. They said, we can ship the box without the knife and you can have it right away and then we'll ship the knife as soon as it comes in or you can wait and we'll ship it all together. And I opted to wait and just have them ship all of it in one box, so here it is. It's a pretty big box this month and it's also pretty heavy, so let's go ahead and crack it open. All right, let's see if I can do this without hitting the camera. And there it is. You can see there's quite a lot of stuff in here. So let's go ahead and get out of the box. And the first thing we'll do is take a look at the mission briefing. All right, so here's the front of the Mission 70 briefing. Looks very nice. I like these new style briefings they're doing. So as I've said before, there are various levels of battle box. There's the basic box, the advanced box, the pro box, and then the Pro Plus box, which is basically the Knife of the Month Club. And as I've also said before, I do this because it's fun. I don't do it because I think I actually need the stuff in here. The stuff I need, I already have. I just think it's a lot of fun. And if you don't like these sort of things, well, you don't have to do them. Okay, so the first item in the basic box is actually something that I'm really curious about. It's the Grim Workshop Cordage Maker Micro. And here it is, and yeah, it is micro. So apparently what this thing will do is make cordage out of spare two liter plastic bottles. The Cordage Maker Micro Tool can take two liter bottles that wash up on the creek and river banks and process them down into high strength cordage for fishing, snares, jug lines, campsite needs, etc. Just slip this tool onto your keychain zipper pole, backpack, or in a small tin, and it's always right there for you. Grimm's Cordage Making Micro Tool was designed, manufactured, and its material sourced here in the USA. And it has a retail price, they say, of $13. So here it is. It's disassembled, so some assembly required. Let's go ahead and open it up and put it together and see if we can get this thing to work. Sounds cool. Okay, so here it is. So let's see if we can give this thing a try and see if it works. All right, so I've been doing some practice with this thing off camera and I think I've got the hang of it. And yeah, it does work, but it does take a lot of practice and a little bit of luck. But then again, most pieces of gear do require practice to get proficient at, and this is no exception. Now they say you need to use it with a two liter plastic bottle. And I agree with that because in my tests, it did not work very well with really thin, flimsy plastic bottles, especially those really thin, flimsy water bottles that have the ribs on the side. It'll work, just not very well and not very easily. So it's best to use this thing with a smooth-sided plastic bottle, like a two-liter plastic bottle. Unfortunately, I do not have a two-liter plastic bottle handy right now, but I do have something close. I have a one-liter smart water bottle, and this should work just fine because it does have smooth sides. So let me take off this label, first of all. 
Okay, and then they say to cut the bottom off the bottle. And you wanna have the cut be as smooth as possible. Okay. And it also said it might help if you take a little pair of scissors and find a little notch where you can get it started. I'm not sure if we'll need to do that, but I'll keep the scissors on hand just in case. So the way this works is that you feed the bottle into this groove and there's a blade in there that faces that way. And what should happen is that when you feed it in one end, you should get some cordage coming out of the other end. I promise you this thing does work. I just, you have to get the hang of it. It takes some practice. I'm gonna do what they say and I'm gonna cut a little notch in here. Maybe that'll help. And you can see that we're starting to get some cordage on the other side. Kind of crude plastic cordage. Now they say that eventually you can just start pulling it and it'll unwind and go through the cutter, but I don't want to do that because if it breaks, then I'll have to start all over. So we'll just do it the hard way for right now. Oop. Well, it broke off there, but you can see we've got a nice length of plastic cordage there. Not bad. Let me try it going the other direction and see if that works any better. I'm not having much luck on camera. Off camera, I did get a lot of cordage and I'll actually show you some of that. So this is a spool of plastic cordage that I got from this thing using a tonic water bottle off camera when I was practicing. And it's about eight or nine feet of cordage. So it does in fact work. I'm just not having the best luck with this bottle on camera. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. And with practice, it could be a valuable tool. You know, you put it in a backpack or in a survival kit. And if you're in a pinch and you need some emergency cordage, well, you got this. All right, next out of the basic box, we've got the Night Eyes Cam Jam Tightener Tie Down Mechanism 4-Pack. And this is what it looks like. So let's get these out of the packaging. All right, so here's one, and this is pretty self-explanatory. You've got a hook here, and then you've got a cam system here to tighten the string. And you can see one of the uses for it here with the tarp. So here's some string, and let's see. So just to feed it through here, and then down through there, and that lets you tighten it, and, and then it's not going anywhere. So yeah, not bad, and you get a four pack. Okay, yeah, these could be useful. All right, the third item out of the basic box is the Outdoor Life Emergency Survival Manual, and here that is and it's just a big book of survival tips. I mean, can't complain about that. Okay, that's kind of cool. And then the final item from the basic box is the Gear Aid Burry Knife. The Burry Knife delivers big cutting power in a compact form and has a price of $30. So here is the Gear Aid Bury Knife or Bury Knife. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. So let's open it up and check it out. And here's the back of the package. Got a glass breaker, a paracord slot, a bottle opener. Of course, it's got a bottle opener. Full tang, quick rip serrated edge, removable belt clip, and then you've got this nice sheath quick thumb release, durable webbing mounts, and quick drain sheath. And there's the specs right there. Three inch blade, a weight of 5.3 ounces, five CR15 stainless steel, titanium coated. All right. 
So it's not bad. Let's see if it's sharp. Oh yeah. Can shave some hair. So it's sharp. Kind of neat. Let's test out the sheath. There we go. And it looks like it's an ambidextrous sheath, which is always a good thing. Especially if you're a lefty like me. Now that's the righty configuration, but for me, I would wear it like that. Very cool. And this is not the knife of the month. This is in the basic box. Not bad at all. All right, next we've got the advanced box. And the first item in the advanced box is the Kong case. Empire case with pluck em up foam. The Kong case, built bold. <laughs> All right. Well, it's big, that's for sure. All right. It's like a big dry box. We got these locks on the side. It's kind of nice. That means you can't accidentally unlatch it. You have to pull it down and then up like that. And of course, here's a battle box sticker. So yeah, this is just a big foam case, a watertight foam case. You could do pretty much anything with this thing. Yeah. I like the locking latches. That's very cool. Yeah, you know what? This would make a really cool case for a survival kit. So you may see this in a future video where I turn this into a kick-ass survival kit. That should be a lot of fun. I like this. Very cool. Kong case. Now, there is one more item in the advanced box, but it's just a little bonus item, this Karmic Outdoors decal. So here it is, and this is pretty simple. It's a little decal that you put on gear. It's got one of these little codes on it, and you put it on your gear, and then if you lose it, someone can take their phone and scan that code and return your gear to you, supposedly. So yeah, it's an interesting idea. It only has a price of $4. It's really not meant to be anything fancy, but it's kind of interesting. Of course, you could always just put your name and phone number on your gear too. <laughs> All right, now we get to the Pro Box. And in the Pro Box, we've got the Lord and Field Bushcraft Grill Set with waxed canvas carrying case. Now, this is a bit of a repeat because they already did something similar to this in a previous box in the not too distant past. So here is the Lord and Field Bushcraft Grill Set. So let's get this out of the bag. It's got a nice canvas carrying case. Okay, here's the grill itself. A lot of silica gel. And then we've got this thing. Okay, so yeah, the case is very nice. Let's check out the grill. All right, so here is the main grill. We got a little teeny picture here and I can't really see what's going on. I'll probably have to look it up online to find out. Okay, I looked at some pictures online and so apparently what you do is you put this piece through here. So here's your hook to hang a pot on. And then you take this piece and stick it up here like that. And I'm not sure how well you can see this, but basically you stick this stake in the ground and then you've got your grill hanging here. And you've also got 
the hook for the pot hanging here. So yeah, you know, it's interesting. Next time I do some cooking out, I'll have to try this. I'm sure it works okay. Very interesting. But like I said, it's kind of repetitive because they already did something like this in a previous mission not too long ago when they gave us the Hellfire Bushcraft Grill. Although this is a little simplified. It's not quite as versatile as this thing. So let me put away the Lord and Field Bushcraft Grill set. And here is the Hellfire Bushcraft Grill. And this thing's much, much simpler. So it's just got two things and you put it on your fire and you've got a grill or put it between two rocks or whatever and you've got a grill, which is pretty cool and a lot easier to use, I think. So, you know, just right off the bat, I kind of like this one because it seems to be a simpler setup, but this one does seem to be more versatile because you can grill with this surface and you can hang a pot. You've got a couple extra stakes. So this is definitely more versatile, whereas I would say this one is much simpler. But now I have both, which is kind of cool. And finally, we come to the Pro Plus box, which is the knife of the month. And for Mission 70, it's the Fox Edge Done Deal. And this was the reason for the delay in Mission 70 because there was a problem getting these to arrive on time and they had to wait for them to come from overseas. So it's a fixed blade, G10 handle, coyote tan, stainless steel. Kind of has a pistol grip kind of handle on it. So let's check it out. Here's the box. So there it is. It looks nice. It's got a Kydex sheath, a nice belt clip. Kind of looks like a tech lock belt clip, although I don't think it is. It's kind of cool. Push button release. I mean, you can lock it like that. Not bad. There it is, model FE009, Fox Edge. It looks really nice. It feels really nice, although I'm not quite sure about this thing. I could see that maybe hurting your fingers at some point, but maybe not, I don't know. It's very nice. It's razor sharp. I can shave with it. I like the finish on the blade. That looks cool. So yeah, definitely different. Unlike any other knife I have, I'll say that. With this kind of pistol grip thing going on. Ah. <laughs> yeah, the Fox Edge done deal. I like it. It's different. Like I said, my only reservation is this thing. I wonder, you know, if that's gonna hurt your fingers after a while, but you know, right out of the box, it seems like a nice knife. Very good quality. And again, it's got a nice sheath and I like that clip on the back. Very cool. All right, so here's all the stuff from Battlebox Mission 70. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good box. Not my favorite mission ever, but it's pretty solid. I liked it and I was fairly happy with it. You got two knives, can't complain about that. The cord tighteners are useful. I really like the plastic bottle cordage maker and I am gonna do some more practice with it to get proficient with it. And maybe I'll do another video in the future where I show it really working well. And it did work well, I just didn't get it on camera. That kind of pissed me off. The grill set is useful. It's a little repetitive based on what I got in previous boxes, but it's okay. The book, you know, eh, take it or leave it. It's okay. The tag is okay. And finally, I really like the Kong case and I will definitely be making a survival kit out of this at some point in the future. And of course, when I do, I'll make a video about it. 
So yeah, overall a pretty good box. I'm sure some people are going to complain about it, that always happens, whatever. But I'm happy with it and I'll keep doing Battle Box for the time being. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. For now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel. This is Kitbash Survival. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.